Hi guys, and welcome. Today, we're going to help you gain a better understanding of your testosterone injection dosage. If you already understand your dosage and you just want to learn how to inject yourself, then please refer to our How to Inject instructional video. There are three things that are important to understand when it comes to your dosage. The first is that all vials shipped from our pharmacies are marked 200 milligrams per milliliter. That means there are 200 milligrams of testosterone per one milliliter of liquid contained inside your vial. The second thing to know is that we currently ship two different sizes. Depending on the pharmacy that fills your prescription, you'll receive either a small one milliliter vial or a larger 2.5 milliliter vial. Both vials contain the same strength mixture. The quantity or amount inside each vial is the only difference between them. Last, it's important to know that milliliters and cubic centimeters are directly interchangeable. If you see CC marked on your syringe instead of ML, you can rest assured that you are dosing yourself correctly. Still with us? Good. Then let's go over the dosages that are most commonly prescribed by our physicians. If your dosage isn't listed here, just remember the amount of oil you'll inject is half of your prescribed dosage. In other words, a 200 milligram dose is one milliliter of fluid to inject. Yes, it can be confusing at first, but we promise it'll get easier. Let's get there by starting with smaller, more common dosages, then work our way up. Let's say your doctor prescribes an injection dosage of 50 milligrams a week. That means you'll inject 0.25 mLs or cc's of testosterone. Your doctor may also recommend that you split your dose into two injections on two separate days throughout the week. If that's the case, you would inject 1.25 milliliter on each corresponding day. For example, a Monday and a Friday. The same goes for all the dosages covered here. 75 milligrams per week equals 0.375 mL. Injecting 100 milligrams each week is the same as 0.5 mL, while 125 milligrams is the equivalent of 0.625 mL. If your prescription calls for 150 milligrams each week, that means you're drawing 0.75 milliliters to inject. 200 milligrams means an even one milliliter draw each week, while 250 milligrams is a 1.25 milliliter injection. If you're prescribed a 300 milligram dosage for the week, then you're injecting yourself with 1.5 milliliters of testosterone, and 400 milligrams equals two milliliters to inject. It's important to note that our doctors will recommend that the majority of these larger doses be split into two separate injections during the week. This way, you'll feel the beneficial effects of your treatment through a seven-day period, rather than just the first half of the week. If any of this is still unclear, we urge you to watch this again to make certain you understand how dosages work. Otherwise, let's now review the syringes that are used for injection and explain how you'll draw the fluid into your syringe. If you're using a large barrel syringe with an interchangeable needle tip, drawing your fluid will be fast and easy. There will be two different needle tips that you can use. First, use the needle tip with the smaller number. This is generally 17 to 19. This needle tip will draw the oil out of your vial since it has the larger diameter. Then you switch and use the needle tip with the larger number. This is generally 25 to 29, which is skinnier to inject and administer. Keep in mind that using two needle tips may end up pulling slightly more fluid than you need since a small amount may remain in the reservoir when injecting. If you ask us, we prefer injecting with the insulin pin. These are generally 27 to 31 gauge. The draw of the fluid, though slower, is more exact and injection itself is pain free. Here's how to draw your fluid. Pull the plunger all the way back, turn your vial upside down and insert your needle. Next, inject air into the vial by depressing the plunger, allow pressure to automatically fill the syringe, then after a moment or two, pull back on the plunger to create a larger vacuum. Allow the oil to go slightly past the required amount. Then you'll carefully inject extra fluid back into the vial. Be patient, it could take up to 30 seconds to pull all of the oil into the needle. It takes a while since it's a narrow needle, but you'll waste less and it's far less painful. You'll want to get rid of any air bubbles. Be sure to tap and flick the syringe before removing it from the vial. After that, you are ready to inject. For more information on the injection process, please find the video in our library. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for watching, good luck, and better health.